In today's algebra lesson, we're gonna learn how to add and subtract polynomials to simplify expressions. So the most important thing to know when you are adding and subtracting terms is that they have to be like terms. And what I mean by like terms is they have the same variable, same exponent. So if I was looking for something to combine with the term seven X squared, it would also have to be an X squared term. So I cannot combine this first term with an X to the third power term or just X or a different variable. It has to be an X squared term, all right? So when we go to add, because it's addition and there's nothing before these parentheses, I can actually start by just taking off the parentheses and that would not change the value of the expressions that are in front of me. Now I'm just looking for like terms. So like I told you guys, we're looking for something else that has an X squared. So seven X squared can be combined with the X squared. And that X squared is the same thing as a one X squared, right? Because if I multiply a term by one, I still just get that term. So I haven't changed the value of this by placing a one in front of it. So now to combine, we're just gonna combine the coefficients. So it's seven plus one, so that gives me eight and I'm keeping my X squared the same, all right? Moving on to the next term, I have a negative three X. There are no other terms here that have an X, so I'm just gonna go ahead and bring that guy down because I can't combine it with anything else up here. Next, I have a negative two, so that guy came down. Negative two, so now I'm just looking for other numbers, other constant terms that are here, and I see a negative nine. Again, remember, you're looking at the sign in front of the term to tell you if we're adding or subtracting, so this is saying, negative two minus nine, which gives me negative 11. All right, so I've combined all the like terms that were up here. So this in the box is the simplified version of the original addition problem that we had. Let's do a subtraction problem. I'm gonna start with the same two parentheses, but we're gonna change it to subtraction instead. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So this first parentheses, Again, because there's nothing in front of it to distribute, I can just take off those parentheses and wouldn't make a difference. However, the second parentheses, there is a minus sign in front of it. So I'm gonna look at that minus sign as a negative one that's gonna be distributed out, right? Because I'm not just subtracting this first term, I'm subtracting everything in this parentheses. So, so to show that I'm subtracting everything in this parentheses, I have to distribute out that minus sign. So this is gonna be negative one, times one X squared, which is minus X squared. You can put a one in front of here if you want, just simpler to write it without it. And then negative one times negative nine, which is a positive nine. So now that I've gotten rid of the parentheses, I can start looking for those like terms again. All right, so seven X squared can be combined with negative one X squared. So seven X squared minus one X squared is six X squared. That negative three X again, doesn't have any like terms. So I'm gonna go ahead and just bring it down, minus three X. And then negative two can be combined with positive nine. So negative two plus nine is gonna be positive seven. So six X squared minus three X plus seven is the simplified version or the difference of the two polynomials above. All right, one last example I wanna do is show you what this looks like when it's written in words. Uh, because there's a very common mistake that happens sometimes when we see a problem like this. So if you're asked to subtract 2x minus 9 from 5x squared plus x minus 6, order is very important. So when you are subtracting something from an expression, that expression needs to come first, right? This is what I'm subtracting from. So if you were subtracting 3 from 5, you would write 5 minus 3, right? The, the expression or the number after the word from, that's what you start with. So we've started with five X squared plus X minus six. And from this expression, I wanna subtract two X minus nine. Two important things. One is the order, two is the fact that the second expression has to be in parentheses. If it wasn't, I would just be subtracting the two X, right? But it's saying subtract this whole expression, two X minus nine. So the way we show that is by writing in parentheses. And now as you just learned, because it's in parentheses with a minus sign in front of it, that minus sign is gonna have to get distributed out to both of these terms. So I'll bring down the first three terms, five X squared plus X minus six. And now we're doing negative one times two X minus two X. Negative one times negative nine, positive nine. And now I'm looking for like terms to combine. So five X squared can't be combined with anything else up here. There's no other X squared terms. So I'm just gonna leave it as five X squared. My X, which is the same thing as one X, can be combined with a minus two X. So one X minus two X is negative 
one X. You can also write it without the one in front, right? It's the same thing and more simply written. And then I have negative six plus nine, which is gonna give me a positive three. And this expression right here is the answer to the subtraction problem above, all right? I'm gonna leave you guys with two practice problems to try on your own. And the answers, as always, are gonna be in the description of the video. So check the answer after you complete the practice problems. If you get it right, leave a comment, shout yourself out. If you get it wrong, leave a comment and let's see if myself or someone else can help you figure out what your mistake was.